Hey there fellow YouTubers! It's time again for another video and I know it's been a long long time since I made my uh, latest video. Uh, yeah, but you all know why. <laughs> because I've been busy as hell working with my art uh, uh, and many other things that are related and work. Just been working my ass off. Uh, and yeah, a whole bunch of other things. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff is going on. Uh, yeah. So that's why I haven't had any time for YouTube. I've been like a lazy answer, not lazy, but I haven't had any time to answer your messages, uh, or at least some of the messages. Uh, I've been trying to answer at least a few, but but there there are some that I know I haven't because the I don't have any time. <laughs> There's no time for it. Uh, yeah, basically I work all day long, m most of the time, especially when I do work on artwork and, and such. Uh, and I still have loads of boring shit to do that I don't want to do, but I have to do it. Uh, <laughs> right now I'm in this kind of period where I just want to like take it easy, but I, I feel summer is coming and, you know, I feel like I have enough of work, I just want to like do nothing really. Just, I, want, I need some time off. My brain, brain is telling me, God damn it, fucker, you need some time off. So that's that's really what I'm feeling. I need some fucking time off because I've been working as hell. So July, uh, no fucking work, not anything. I, I, hopefully I can just get some time for myself and just, just be. Yeah. But I know I will do some work because I have to. But, but I, I, as long as I can find a little time for myself. Uh, but that's why I've been busy working as hell uh, with lots of stuff, uh, writing, a, a, a kind of sketching on things for for a movie that I want to do. Uh, an old idea, actually, I did a couple of years ago. Uh, also, been painting, uh, doing some work. I mean, I did. Yeah, get damn it. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Some of you have seen it on, on Facebook, but uh, uh, I actually finished this uh, like a couple of days ago. This is for the Blu-ray release of Nick Box's movie, The Wrath of the Violent Vicar. Uh, and this is the artwork that I did. I did it in like, like a couple of days. It was like a last minute thing. Uh, so I think a little under a, a little under a week it took me to do this, uh, and I didn't work all the time. I had other stuff to do as well, but yeah. So I did this for him, rather than Wild Wicker. There's Nick, <laughs> like I said, he looks like a uh, Anton Sander Levy slash uh, Rob Halford kind of evil guy. <laughs> yeah. There's Jesus, uh, the Wicker. Uh, yeah. And some other things. Nick drowning a poor guy in a bathtub. Uh, yeah. So this is one of the things that I've been busy doing. Yeah. So yeah. That's my latest artwork that I did right after Suicide Preachers. Because Nick, Nick asked me to, so yeah. But uh, it turned out all right. I, I like it. Uh, so yeah, I've been busy doing that. I've been busy working with the uh, Kind of a little on a script for a movie, uh, design, sketches. I've been out walking, looking for locations that, that is good to film at, and I haven't find, find, found the place that I need yet. But uh, yeah, there are a whole bunch of other things like I said. Be busy, 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 busy. Busy will be still busy. Uh, right after this, I need to go back to uh, cutting a movie for work. Uh, and yeah, it's boring fucking shit. It's a bunch of people talking about stuff that I don't care about. I mean, bullshit. It's eight, it's eight hours of fucking material that I need to cut down. Uh, and it's boring as hell because I need to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch, edit, edit, rewatch. You know what it is. Uh, yeah. When I'm done with it, I don't never want to see that fucking movie again. Or movie, I mean, I don't know what to call it. Footage. I don't want to see that footage never ever again. <laughs> well, let's continue on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I got some packages sometime back, but I haven't. I've been too busy. So, 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry for not having any time for you guys. Uh, but uh, this is for my dear friend Marco. He sent me this like probably two weeks ago, maybe, that I, that I got it. I don't know if it was two weeks, but, but I think so. But my dear friend Ron313, Marco, sent me this package of gift. Uh, which is really really awesome. I, I mean, Marco is a great great guy, a good friend to me. And like I said, many of you have probably probably already know about him, but you need to check out his channel. Uh, he's been uh, he's been out for a while. He's been he's been sick and having some problems. Uh, he actually went to the hospital. Uh, I know about that, but he will have to t tell you himself. Uh, but yeah. Uh, He's been off for a while, um, but now he's back, and uh, hopefully he can get back get back to making videos soon. Uh, because he's got a new camera, at least that he was supposed to get one. Uh, I don't know if he's gotten it yet, but I hope so. Uh, so, but checking out, checking out Marco Roman thirty thirteen. Uh, say hi from me. Tell tell him I sent you. Uh, yeah, thanks Marco for the package. Let's check out what he sent me. He sent me two movies. First of all, I don't have any one of these. First of all, he sent me an Asian, actually a Swedish release of Bamboo House of Dolls. Yeah, Shaw Brothers movie from the Swedish company Nuta Films. Great company, and I, I've been meaning, I've been wanting to get this one. So this is really great of him to send this to me. That's <laughs> one of my list. So I will just add it to my Asian collection. Uh, yeah, looks great. Uh, Tons of nudity on the back. So <laughs> yeah. But I don't believe in censorship, so but, but still, uh, yeah, I will show you that. Uh, and then they sent me another a cheesy, I think it's a UK movie or an American movie, but it's not an Asian one. Uh, but first, when I saw it, I thought, is this an Asian movie? I never heard of this, but it isn't. It's, it's a cheesy movie called uh, Ninja vs. Vampires. I don't know much about it. I saw a trailer on YouTube, and it's, I, I don't know what, what to think of it. Looks like a lots of cheese and yeah, cool stuff. I haven't seen it yet. I, it, like I said, I just see parts on YouTube and such. Uh, so yeah, this is one that he sent me. Yeah, looks looks cool. I was, oh, I hope it's a fun watch. So thank you very much, Marco. Don't worry, guys. Don't say much stuff. See you Yeah, <laughs> some Swedish mixed with Japanese. Yeah, but that's one of my friends that sent me a great kick-ass patch with two moves. Uh, and also, I got another surprise from, uh, actually from <laughs> our own uh, Horrors Ball Tom, Headbanging Tom. He sent me a package here. I don't know what it is. It says that it's a DVD box, but what kind of DVD box, I don't know. But my, my dear buddy from America, uh, Tom, he sent me this package, which is really awesome. So thank you, Tom. I don't know what it is, but I can't wait to find out. Uh, I've been having the. I, I don't know when it arrived, but it arrived. Man, man it, it's like almost two weeks ago. This arrived as well, but I haven't had any time to open it. And I love packages. Why? Ha why the hell haven't I opened it yet? <laughs> because I wanted to make a video. That's the. That's the, the answer. And I didn't have any time, buddy. But the, now, now, now I will see what you sent me. Yeah, Tom is an awesome, awesome guy. Go check out Horrors Ball. It's an awesome, kick-ass channel. I mean, his videos are awesome. He has a great sense of humor, and he's a cool guy. He's into cool stuff, music, horror movies. He loves his horror. Uh, he's a great guy and a great friend. One, of, one of my best friends on YouTube. So check him out. Give him some love. Check out his videos. Thumb them up. I mean, you will love them. I, I promise you, you will love them. They're, they're great. Uh, so yeah, but let's open up the sucker here. I have no idea what this, what it is. I'm excited. Ooh. There's a note, Richard. Hey buddy, I know I know like me that you are a big Argento fan, so I hope that you find this to be a nice addition to your collection. Horns high, your friend Headbanger Tom. 
Oh man, I've got some sweet salt sweet already. I love her again too. Oh man, what is this? Oh man, kick ass. Ah, oh, this is fucking awesome. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Oh man, he sent me a hard box of Phenomena, <laughs> aka Creepers. I oh, mean, I love this movie. I actually, I actually did a song about, uh, well, based on this movie, uh, which I hope that I can share with people someday. But uh, man, this is awesome. He sent me a hard box of hard box of Phenomena. I never seen this cover before. This is brand totally new for me. I, I, I haven't seen this. This is kick ass. This is the first, uh, not first hard box I have, but the first. I mean, this is this is the coolest one I got right now. This is this is the coolest one. Thank you so much, man. This is awesome. Man, this is cool. Probably it's a glare on it now from the plastic, but. Hopefully you can see. This is fucking awesome. Oh man. I get this is one of those hard boxes where you have to add an addition. No! Oh, it's the movie as well. Ooh, shit. I just thought it was the hard box with you. Because sometimes they sell the hard boxes loose so you can put the, your disc in it but this is this is the movie and all and it c got a cool uh, the, the cool um, yeah disc out uh, disc art on it the one where she sits among the flowers and yeah that's really cool i love this hard box man this is excellent thank you so much man this is a real treasure so check out horror's ball for some kick-ass humor and, and horror love so yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. This is oh, this is so awesome. Now you made my day, man. Man, this is this is cool. This I will have this on display. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this this is fucking cool. I did not expect that, man. I did didn't expect that expect that, that at all. <laughs> but that's fucking cool. Let's kick your ass. Uh, wish I can show you the stuff that I have for you for you, but I can't yet. Uh, I'm gonna, we'll probably throw in some more stuff, so I hope you will like it when I can send it out to you, but it will take a while, it will be after summer, uh, probably early autumn or something like that, uh, but that's because my economy is fucking down the bottom, it totally sucks, <laughs> but yeah, but thanks dude, uh, <laughs> where was I, I think I lose track, I, I need to check my time so the video doesn't turn out to be too long, uh, actually, I know I said I did, weren't supposed to do any DVD picks, pickups and such, which I kind of ha haven't done, but, uh, well, kind of. My brother, he found like one dollar Blu-rays and DVDs down in Stockholm, so I'm waiting for a little patch to arrive. Well, it's not little, it's kind of, well, it's, it's medium size, <laughs> but it's some stuff that I picked up really cheap, so I haven't wasted any much money. I. I kind of kept my promise, but I mean, I couldn't pass up on that. Uh, and another stuff I, f I found from my one of my stores that I usually buy my stuff from, Disc Shop, they had a sale, like they're celebrating 13 years. Uh, so they have a lot of uh, products for, not a lot, but a, but a couple of DVDs and Blu-rays for like 13 Swedish crowners. And that's like, uh, that's like two dollars or something like that for each. I, so I bought a few. Not 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 the best stuff ever, but but they were cheap. So I didn't want to pick up something just just to pick it up because it was cheap. Nothing cool, nothing horror and such. Uh, but I need to show you it anyway, so I can store it away. Uh, I bought this on Blu-ray, Barbarossa the King with Rutger Hauer. Thirteen Swedish crowners. I mean, that is get damn cheap. I mean. It's not even fair to uh, translate into US dollars because, well, it doesn't become the right uh, 
value anyway, but but it's got damn cheap. I mean, it's like it, it's like you would find like uh, one dollar Blu-rays or something. That this is get damn cheap. Man, that is cheap. Then I got this two disc special edition of uh, uh, Raging Bull, Marty Scorsese movie. Uh, yeah, got the real shit. Thirteen Swedish crowns. All this. Uh, the Watcher, from the, uh, from the writer of, uh, based on a story that the writer of uh, the time that Mr. Ripley wrote, actually. Uh, I've seen the trailer and such for this, and it seems really nice. I think it's a good one, but 30 Swedish Crowners. Uh, oh, I like this movie, I think it's a good, good one, Great Boss of Fire. Nothing like it, like those old rock and roll stores and such, $13. Swedish crown, not those. <laughs> that, that would be damn expensive if that cost thirteen dollars. No, thirteen Swedish crowners. That's like uh, two dollars. But I don't think it's fair to, yeah, uh, yeah. Forget about it. Uh, but uh, then we have uh, where the white things are, and I really like this movie when it came out. I, I liked it. Actually, my. I used to read the, the the children's book when I was a little, so so I, mean, I I liked it. Reminded me of a little of like Jim Henson stuff. Actually, just a just a little bit. But that's it. Those were the things that I needed to show you. I showed you the artwork and I and I told you some stuff about how busy I've been <laughs> lately. Uh, and yeah, I got loads of work to do. Loads of work. Uh, I really should be working now, but I'm tech kind of in a shutdown mode. I think I've been, like I said, I've been working too much, doing all other things. Uh, I just feel like I need to do something else. Uh, really what I sh should do is get away <laughs> somewhere, but I, I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Right now, like, I got my money and they're, now they're gone. Like, I have a few, few, uh, yeah, I have a few, a little money for food, but that's it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but hopefully I can, uh, if I get the package uh, next week or the week after that, then I get a, another update. And uh, it's filled with uh, cool stuff that I bought uh, like months ago as well about some games and shit. Uh, so, uh, but I will show you that package when it arrives. Uh, God damn it! I know I had something to tell someone on YouTube. I know. Yeah, Vance, man, thanks for the, for posting that video. Uh, man, desecration, man. I've been looking for that movie for many, many years. Uh, I mean, I saw that. I don't even remember. I, I remember I saw that movie at home, but I don't remember like, in what situation or where I got it from. Or what I know that I saw it and I loved it. The skisser scene with the the skisser, the sister attacking the nun. I mean, that was fucking awesome. And all the dreamy, like nightmare scenes. I mean, I love that kind of stuff. That that's fucking kick ass. So, so Vance, thank you very much, uh, Spalding Series 69, for showing that video. That made me like take a look at the trailers, and then I realized that now I, I love that director. He's a, he's an awesome, cool, cool guy, and he does great movies. So I really need to get all of his movies: horror, desecration, uh, and the new one, uh, Torture Chamber, and. Um, what else? What, what? I think there was something more. Satan's Playground. Yeah, that, those were all of them. Uh, but uh, thanks you, thank you for that. Thank you, Horace Ball, Ed Bunny Tom, uh, Marco on Thirty Thirteen, which I hope will be back soon with some kick, cool, kick-ass videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, big greeting to my friend OD Six 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 Six. six. Uh, I hope I can send out your package. And Sean Winter King. Uh, uh, I will send out your package like tomorrow. Tomorrow I will send it out. I need to repack it. Uh, I got I, I added one extra DVD to it, uh, and hopefully I can add maybe I can add another one. I don't know. It depends on what it costs, because I, I only have a certain amount that I put away to ship your package. Uh, if it's above that, uh, I mean I can't send you any, anything more. But uh, well, I will get it away to you. So yeah, but take care everybody, uh, yeah, we will try to get back soon, but now I need to get busy working with some art and such, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't think there is any, this, it feels like I have something more to tell you, but, but, but whatever it is, I can't remember, 
Uh, so I will get back to that later on. I need to work now. Take care, everybody. Bye.